Hi everyone, my name is Jan Dragonia. I'm a data scientist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. And together with my colleagues, Kayak Mukherjee, Aaron Tuhor, Mahantaj Halapanavar, and Raguna Vrabie, we'll be presenting our recent work on learning stochastic parametric differentiable predictive control policies. Our work is motivated by the successes of model predictive control in a range of industries from automotive, aerospace, process control to high performance robotics. However, in order to successfully deploy model predictive control in practice, you need to have reliable and accurate system dynamics models. This is, however, not true for many real world applications at large scale, such as network power system grid or thermal systems in buildings that have a lot of unknown or partially known dynamics. And physics-based modeling is simply too expensive to conduct at the scale. On the other hand, purely data-driven models for these systems lack generalization and they don't provide guarantees of performance that are required for deployment of model operating control. We also have issues with scalability of real-time optimization for these systems of this size. To alleviate these bottlenecks, researchers have been looking at data-driven approaches, such as deep reinforcement learning that has been widely successful in domains when you have a reliable environment model that is mostly represented by simulations, such as computer games or board games, and you have mostly discrete action space, and you can use massive offline compute to solve your problem at superhuman level. However, data-driven approaches have their challenges, especially in a real world setting for handling constraints, stability guarantees, time delays, partial observability, and many more that has been solved by control theory and model-based approaches already. The natural question arises, how can we combine the benefits of both the rigor and satisfaction of constraints and stability of model-based approaches and flexibility of data-driven approaches on one hand? So this is a big question in control theory these days. And in order to answer this question, we need to look at optimization methods that are being used for control. So when we are solving model operating control or so-called implicit MPC, we are typically reformulating in constraint optimization problem and call constraint optimization solver, such as interior point or active set methods, in on online optimization. For each new measurement, we recompute the problem again and again and again. This is, has been widely successful for small to medium scale problems. It obtains this implicit policy, but has scalability issues for very large scale systems when we have hardware with limited memory or computational requirements. To alleviate, alleviate the, the high cost of online computation, researchers have been also exploring the possibility to pre-compute the, all the possible solution of implicit MPC to so-called explicit MPC that solves multi-parametric constraint optimization problems by exploring all possible combination of active constraints. However, unfortunately, current solvers cannot handle large systems, not even medium scale systems that are of practical relevance because of exponential complexity of these solvers. To alleviate this problem of offline computational demands, people have employed imitation learning that uses machine learning algorithms such as deep neural networks in a regression setting to imitate the behavior of original model predictive control that is pre-computed over a distribution of measurements. And then you have labeled data set of measurements to decision variables, and then you just uh, do the regression or classification problem obtaining explicit solution map again that can be represented by neural network. This is scalable approach. However, it still requires the original model predictive controller to begin with. So it doesn't uh, alleviate the, the need for original model. And typically handling constraints is problematic because you don't have the explicit notion of the model inside the formulation. On the other hand, reinforcement learning promises uh, the delivery of control policy without any notion of your system dynamics model. And it does so in very elegant and simple way. You have just actor and critic representation, which are typically neural networks these days. 
where the actor is your control policy, generates control action, perturbs the system that is either simulation model or real world system that you are controlling, and you observe its response and reward functions that are assumed to be implemented um, to inform the, the, the critic to learn this behavior. So we can think of the critic as a lumped model of your system dynamics and unknown control objectives and constraint penalties. And when you have this neural network critic, now you can employ automatic differentiation in its reverse mode or back propagation to propagate the signals back to the actor to obtain policy gradients for offline optimization. This is very uh, successful method for dealing with systems that the, whose models are too complicated to handle with model parity control. However, because we are in model free setting, handling constraints, stability has, has its problems and it can have poor convergence uh, to global optima and requires large amount of training data to perform on, on a satisfactory basis. So natural question arises. How can we combine the principles of mental property control in these learning-based approaches? To answer this question, we propose differential property control. That is a method that combines model property control structure and data-driven approach of reinforcement learning and allows us to go directly from data to explicit constraint control policies via differentiable optimization. We do so by keeping our control policy explicit, represented, let's say, by neural network, that's our actor. And instead of using our value functions that are black box in reinforcement learning, we make them model based by assuming we have a representation of the system dynamics model beforehand, or they learn from data through system identification. And we have fully model based control objectives and constraint penalties embedded in the system that allows us to compute the sensitivities of the closed loop dynamic system with respect to the control task we want to achieve. This allows us to sample the distribution of our control parameters, such as initial conditions, references, constraints through the closed loop system, and again, obtain direct policy gradients by using automatic differentiation like it's being used in reinforcement learning for offline optimization. So this is a method for computing explicit control policies at scale by leveraging the tools and theories from both worlds. How do we formulate it in a mathematical way? It's stochastic parametric optimal control problem where we are minimizing the expectation of our control objective function that can be any nonlinear differentiable function once differentiable, and we have some terminal penalty or, or terminal constraint that needs to be satisfied for stability. In this paper, we considered linear state space model that is identified from data and unknown state noise that perturbs the system. We have explicit control policy that generates control action over n step prediction horizon. In our case, parameterized by neural networks, we have probabilistic change constraints and state and actions. We have known distributions of initial conditions, known distribution of parameters, such as varying references or, or constraints. And we have unknown distributions of the disturbance scenarios that are perturbing the system. So how can we solve this problem with differential programming? We reformulate the problem in Lagrangian form, where we use our stochastic change constraints. We put them in the penalty forms that can be uh, implemented by simple penalty functions, barrier functions, or more advanced augmented Lagrangian. And we evaluate this expectation of our loss and constraint penalties over samples of parametric scenarios, unknown uncertainty uncertainty scenarios and unrolled system dynamics and steps ahead in, into the future. This allows us to have fully model-based value functions that we can use for automatic differentiation to obtain direct policy gradients by applying the simple chain rule back propagating signals through the closed loop dynamic system. This allows us to solve 
large scale constraint explicit control problems that are not accessible to classical parametric programming. Here we are showing example of 12 state quadcopter model with four control actions uh, with prediction horizon of 10 steps that we solved with unknown disturbances with satisfactory performance on reference tracking, satisfying all state and action constraints. And the advantage of pre-computing these policies offline is that we don't need to solve any online optimization, which allows us to obtain order of magnitude faster solution than OSQP solver of implicit MPC approach. Exactly the same story we obtained when we introduced nonlinearities in constraints and we handled these parametric elliptic constraints in obstacle avoidance settings. And we compare with deterministic interior point solution. And again, we obtain orders of magnitude faster solution. So this is wonderful because now we have scalable method for explicit control. It works empirically, but can we come up with some probabilistic guarantees that will make us sleep better when we deploy it in practice? We approach this problem by sampling our closed loop control trajectories, which we do during training, and introduce safety metric that evaluates all the constraints and terminal penalties uh, that needs to be satisfied during the rollout of the trajectory. And we use this indicator function that allows us to compute the empirical risk, which is basically a percentage of failed rollouts. Afterwards, we employ Hoeffsdienst inequality that has been introduced by Hertang et al in the context of approximate MPC. We just reformulate it and use it in the context of uh, this unsupervised differential predict control, which in essence says that our estimate of empirical risk will be bounded by some desired error lower bound from the ground truth risk, uh, ground truth risk by this inequality, where on the right-hand side, we have a confidence, which is expressed by as an exponential function of number of samples and these are at confidence error, error bound. And we can use this in two ways, either inform us how many samples do we need for training or after training, we can evaluate our confidence in the train policy on a given number of samples. Now, when we have all of these empirical methods, uh, tools and theory, uh, I want to wrap up the conclusion of differential predictive control as a promising approach for learning explicit control policies through differentiable closed loop system dynamics models that can handle state input constraints and is robust to state disturbances during and after training. Everything what I have presented is open source on our GitHub page in our PyTorch based toolbox. And we are, we are happy to receive any feedback on our current work and our previous work on differential predict control. Thank you very much for your attention.